everyone. Welcome to Pouring My Heart Out by Susan. I'm back to show you something really cute. My daughter's here visiting me. You want to say hi, Bailey? Say hello. Hi. My, my baby girl, my one and only. I love you. See you later. I love you. So we're going to do a little jam jar today. And it kind of goes like this. This is the top. And it has um, a screw there so you can screw the top on. These are so cute. You can put your little cotton balls in here. Beads. Whatever. They're really cute. So I've done a couple of these. <clears throat> and what I plan on doing today. Oh, I need to hurry. That's getting warm. I'm going to do this in a pinky pink because I think I want to use these as embellishments. Aren't they cute? That'll be later on when we're cured. Alright, so this um, I just want to be very light, kind of translucent. That's supposed to be an alcohol ink, but it has some white in it, so I'm not sure how that works. I'm going to introduce some bubbles because it's also not mixing very well. Okay. And I'm also going to put some... Um, Shimmer by uh, Glitz and Glitter by Michelle. I love this stuff. And you need very little, even in this uh, amount of resin, which is about six and a half ounces. So I'm going to do about that much. See if that's enough. I want some shimmer and shine. Now this is not going to take that much resin, but I do want some left over to fill up the giveaway sphere so we can get that going. I already had um, the giveaway question on my last video, which was the um, Volcanic Rock Coaster set of four in four different colors. Ooh, I think that's going to be pretty. What do you guys think? Can you see the sparkle? It's so pretty. I just want to make sure it gets all the way in there. It mixes up to the bottom. We're getting really warm, so I'm going to have to pour. I'm going to pour this one first. Let's see. I'll do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. And this, I mean, it's a deep mold, but... Um, I'm not really worried about flash curing because the walls are thin. And I'm using my Dr. Crafty, my favorite go-to. And hang on, I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I get this poured. I believe this is going to take every bit of that six ounces and you want to go to the lip you don't really necessarily want a dome move that to the side and we will do some squishing and stuff around where the um, <clears throat> where it screws in because it does tend to get bubbles there In this one, we also want to dome. Well, this one we do want to dome. This one you don't necessarily have to. Uh, a little bit of 
trimming at the bottom. I'm okay with that. Trimming or um, filing. I usually file this one. But I'm going to just pour a tad more. I don't want to dome it. Otherwise it won't sit pretty. Okay. And our giveaway sphere. It's going to get a little bit of pink. Let's see if I can do this so you can watch what I'm doing. Don't think enough to make a difference. We're getting there though. We are getting there. I really want to fill it up because I want to use my sphere for another video. I've got some great ideas for it. give some squashes because there's a um, screw part here and then there's of course a screw part in the lid so I'm just gonna give it some squishes try to alleviate some of them bubbles and see here come some and this you can spray with alcohol All right. Tap, tap, taps. Because I do see more bubbles coming up. But, um, yeah, just tap, tap, tap. And alleviate those bubbles. And I will be back for the next step. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you this resin. <laughs> Dr. Crafty. You can order this on walmart.com and just put in Dr. Crafty um, epoxy resin. These uh, come in one gallon or two gallon. My two gallon with tax and everything was $139. This will last me quite a while. And I love it. This makes beautiful blooms. Um, not the ones you've seen on my videos. Because I was using Amazing. And I'm not quite sure I like it for blooms. But this one is the best for blooms for me. It works well for me. Alright. I just wanted to show you that. Let me see if I can get help putting this back. Hey guys, welcome back to Pouring My Heart Out. Guess what? It's cured. I went ahead and poured the holder also for the Lava Rock Coasters. So we're going to demold that also so you get a bonus there. And guess what? The sphere is done too. Um, now look, this is a bunch of crazy colors. It may not be pretty, but it is finished. We're going to demold that also. Bonus, bonus, bonus. All right. First, we're going to demold the one that was the actual project. Just loosen it up some. There we go. And there are some bubbles. Oh, I got some sanding to do. But there's the little lid. Pretty and pink. Let's see if we can get this one going. This one's a little harder.
Just kind of peel it back. And I see one bubble. Always get your molds back as soon as possible so they don't warp. warp. There we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, one huge bubble there. And uh, I could either fix those with UV resin or that one's big. So I'm probably going to have to fix that one with UV resin. But yeah, let's see. See how the lid fits? How cute is that? That is so cute. Okay. And what I decided to do to the top is I have this dogwood flower mold. And it fits perfect. So I'm going to pour um, some of this dogwood with some silver and some darker pink glitter. And then you see this little nub here, because this is actually a pendant. Before it's completely cured, still a little bendy, I can nip that um, piece off. So that you won't even be able to tell, it'll just be the flower. And it does fit perfectly. And it has a little hole in the middle, so that I can put um, either a diamond in there, or one of the... Um, little roses or white rose which I might do the white because it has the silver in it the pink has a gold rim on the flowers I don't know we'll look through it and see all right now time for this one. Oh, what a cool effect can you see that so far and more bubbles what is going on with my bubbles there we go cute I like that it uh, goes down the sides too and there you have it pretty little set okay now for this one, I'm not, I'm not sure I want to do this because I know it's going to be fairly ugly. But <laughs> to me, I think it will be just because there's going to be some really weird colors and some weird effects and stuff. But we will see. Yeah, this one's totally not easy to get out. Okay, so far very weird. The best way to do this is to roll it down. Roll it over itself. There. Okay. Oh, okay. It's it's not completely ugly. It's actually kind of cool. And I need to trim the bottom up. I'll sand that. But that is the giveaway. What do y'all think? I think it's kind of cool. Strange. Um, it's not something I would make on purpose. <laughs> but actually I did. I mean, we poured extras in there from the videos that you've been watching. And uh, if you want to get in on this giveaway... Um, the best way to do it is subscribe, and then uh, you can go into your subscriptions and pull up Pouring My Art Out, and go back and watch this video, and it has the question, and all you do is comment uh, the answer, and I will be picking out the winner sometime this month. And get this out, sent out to someone. But if the winner just really hates this, I will make something of their choice. Maybe not this big because this does take a while. <clears throat> and it's heavy. It's really heavy. So it is expensive to ship. So, um, 
Yeah, but anything small or smallish, trinket tray, you know, anything like that. One of these little jelly jars, is, although that's just as heavy. Um, but I will do a jelly jar for you or, or the sphere. But just uh, let me know. Go back and watch this. And uh, just comment your answer. It's that easy. All right, guys. I'll see you when I finish up with this jar after I pour this tonight. I have somewhere to go, so I'm not going to be doing it right now. But uh, it'll just be seconds for you guys anyway. All right. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. Of course, I changed my mind on what I'm going to do to the top. But I think it's a better idea. Y'all were probably screaming at me. And that's going to be tacky, what I was going to do uh, with the darker pink. I'm going to do the same thing in the little dogwood as I did here. And I'm going to add some of these embellishments just to glitz it up a little bit. Now, I found these in a sheet like this at Dollar General Market and it was on clearance and it came with two sheets and uh, I think it was a dollar fifty you can't beat that so I'm gonna use it I've already used one sheet up all right so let's get started this is ready it's been sitting about 10 minutes mm, closer to 15 same color uh, weird alcohol ink that really is not an alcohol ink we're not going to use quite as much this time because this is only two ounces here, which is still too much for this mold. But, you know, I can't, I just can't mix up like that. I always have extra. But I'll make something. All right. That looks like it's about the right color. You see that? And see how weird the, it is to mix it? And it's not really an alcohol ink. It's kind of, um, I don't know. It's just a light can cotton candy pink. Because it has that white in it or something. Something weird. It's not clear. Um, but it can be translucent. It depends on how much you use. All right. And I'm going to put my... Glitz and Glitter by Michelle Shimmer in here. And again, I'm not going to use as much as I did for this. Because I don't need it. So just that much. And that may even be too much. But that's okay. This is the highlight of it. I just think it'll look more cohesive. And it'll look like it actually belongs to this piece. So that's what we're doing. Now I have already sanded the bottom and around the top of this. Uh, I'm going to sand the top of this because it is a little sharp around that rim there. First let's pour this and then I will show you what I use to sand. Okay. Let me make sure you can see this. It is a pretty color, even though it's not an alcohol ink. And this is actually a fairly deep mold. But it certainly won't take two ounces. Okay, we are right up to the edge. We are not doming because um, I don't necessarily want it to dome. I want it to sit flat. All right, let's get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. 
Now, um, I use just an ordinary file. And make sure you wear a mask when you're filing these. And I'm just going to take it around the edge like this. Pretty simple. Be careful not to scratch the rest of it because it will show. Um, just get that sharp area. The top isn't going to be matter if you scratch it because um, we're going to have that on it. And that's better. All right. While we're waiting for that to cure, I'm going to run an errand. And when I get back, it's still not going to be cured, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these. At least this one. All right. We will see you in a few. Hey, guys. Welcome back. All right. Let's get this thing decorated. I got my E6000, $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. Oh, this thing is impossible to open. Luckily, I have my pliers ready. And I'm going to put it in this little disposable cup. You don't need a lot. But I'm doing this so I can use my dotting tool and not make a humongous mess. Because you can clean your dotting tool off with alcohol. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is the extras I made. Um, they look almost Indian or Bohemian. You can use them as sun catchers. You can use them as pendants. You can use them as ornaments. Whatever. They're just cute. Okay, so what I want to do... is put a little bit right in this crease here. And if there's any spillage of this glue, it will peel right off. I'm just gonna go all the way around. Because it's thick, it won't really run. It does leave strings though, so you might have to peel some off. Sticky. Very, very sticky. Make sure you get enough on there to make contact. And it dries clear. You won't even see it. Okay, I think we are all the way around. Ooh. Okay, now the great thing about these are I blew on me. They're stuck together by a thin um, I don't know if it's glue or if it's fishing line or what. But I'm just going to get it right in that crease and I've already cut this to size and if you make a mistake on the size you can always trim it like this one needs to be trimmed one and just press down let me grab my scissors and I'll trim that one Just one. There. What do y'all think? You, it looks like it's just silver, but they're actually little shiny diamond-y diamond things. 
which I think are really pretty. You need to get off of me. Okay. There. And we will just let this set up and cure up, but make sure that they are stuck down. I think I have to trim one more because it's not laying just right. Okay, where did I start? Can you see that? Okay. Oh, there we go. Ooh. So that's that, pretty simple. We're still waiting on this to cure. That will be the next step, and we will glue that with the same glue. Obviously not this glue, because it will be set up. Um, and that's it for now. I'm just gonna keep an eye on this. For some reason it wants to lift. Um, but anyway, wait for the next step. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, I did demold it because it was uh, getting hard, and I just nipped off the little um, area where you put your bale, and you can't even tell. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to finish this guy up, and we're going to start by putting a pretty good-sized dollop right in the middle here. See how stringy that is? It just pulls right off though. All right, so we're going to stick this on there, press it down, See how cute? Okay. And now, since we did put a doll up, and there is a hole in the middle of this dogwood flower, the glue has come up through the top. So that's perfect. We will put this right on that glue. There you have it. That's it. You see how cute that is? All right. That's it, guys. Very simple. Again, I think it's pretty and it's elegant and it's very girly. Um, I will get you finished pictures when I'm able to move it around. But right now, I just want it to sit and let the glue dry. And this glue is so strong, you don't have to worry about it um, once it is dry. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. It's not going to move much. But, all right, I see you in a little bit. Don't forget, like and subscribe. I have uh, some more new subscribers. So now I need nine more subscribers to make a hundred. You guys share, 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 invite your friends, <clears throat> and I really appreciate every single one of you.